God's story, Daniel. So part of God's story is about a guy named Daniel, and it goes like this. Daniel was a Jew, which means he was part of God's special family. But when he was a young man, a king called Nebuchadnezzar, let's call him Nezer, came in from the city of Babylon and took over. He chose the smartest, strongest, most handsome Jewish men to leave their home and come work for him in his palace. One of those young men was Daniel. Even though most people in Babylon didn't follow God, Daniel and his friends did. So they had to figure out how to obey God and serve the king. For starters, they had to go through a training program where they were fed royal food. The problem was, King Nezer had also offered that food to idols or false gods. And since they followed God, they wanted nothing to do with idols. So Daniel had an idea. He asked the chief of the king's staff if he and his friends could eat vegetables and water for 10 days instead. If they got too weak or skinny, they'd eat something else. Well, guess what? God made them even stronger than the men who ate royal food. God gave Daniel extra understanding, too. In fact, a few years later, the king had a nightmare. Nobody knew what it meant. Daniel told King Nezer that he would ask God to show him. God did. After that, King Nezer adored Daniel. He even said God was pretty great, which was a big deal, because the king didn't even think about God before that. But soon, he made it hard for Daniel to follow God again. That's because the king built a huge gold statue of himself, 90 feet tall. Anybody who didn't bow down to it would be thrown into a furnace. This time, Daniel's friends were the ones in trouble. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They told the king, the God whom we serve is able to save us. But even if he doesn't, we will never worship the gold statue you've set up. So they got sent into the fire. Well, pretty soon the king looked into the furnace and noticed that there were four men and they were walking around. An angel of the Lord was protecting Daniel's friends. They got out alive and didn't even smell like smoke. God didn't stop them from getting punished, but he did go through it with them. The king had never seen a God who would rescue like that. Afterwards, King Nezer didn't mind if Daniel and his friends worshiped God, but the king still worshiped idols too. So God sent him another dream and Daniel told him what it meant. King Nezer would live in a field and eat grass like a cow for seven years. In other words, he'd go crazy until he realized that God is the only one we should worship. Kids, God doesn't want everybody to worship whoever they want. He wants everybody to worship him. Anyway, Daniel kept working for other kings of Babylon, even after King Nezer. God continued to help him understand dreams and visions. And even though he had to give a lot of bad news, Daniel did excellent work, and he was really well-liked by the kings. In fact, one king named Darius liked Daniel so much that others got jealous. They tried to get Daniel in trouble. But they knew the only way to do that was to make a law against God. They suggested that everybody pray only to King Darius. That made the king feel important, so he made it a law. Anybody who disobeyed would spend the night in a den of lions. Daniel kept right on praying, though, and when King Darius found out, he was sad. He didn't want to punish Daniel, but now it was the law. He said, may your God whom you serve faithfully rescue you. And guess what? God did. He sent an angel to shut the lion's mouths. Daniel served four important kings, and he followed God. But whenever it came down to obeying God or the king, Daniel chose God every time, no matter what. And even though Daniel had to do some really hard things, God was always with him. And that's the story of Daniel. Be strong and courageous, the Lord of the ages, holds all his little ones safe by his side. Be strong and courageous, the Lord of the ages, holds all Be strong and courageous, Lord, I
the sadness You say, do not fear the sadness Do not fear the sickness Do not fear the sickness Jesus has conquered them be strong and courageous, the Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe by his side. Be strong and courageous, the Lord of the 